You've got a whole cupboard full of curly hair products. Is there anything else you need? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about curly hair tools that you might find useful on your curly hair journey. I'm gonna talk you through some of my favorite curly hair tools and accessories. And I'm gonna kick this off with the most essential thing I think every curly girl and guy needs. And that is a silk or satin pillowcase. So this is my curly and kind pillowcase. I've got two sets of these in gold and they go with my bedding. I've got kind of green and gold in my bedroom here and I absolutely love them. Now these are satin, they're not silk. I do actually find these satin pillowcases as good as my silk pillowcases, but I have a few different kinds. These are the ones I keep coming back to. I have to say they are my favorites and maybe it's because they go so well with my bedding. Um, one of the things I quite like about the curly and kind ones is they're satin on one side and then they're this organic cotton on the other side. So they don't actually like slip around on the sheet. The cotton grips the sheet and they stay in place. My husband and I both use them and actually my husband has gotten very used to having a satin pillowcase and he likes it too. But the reason that they are so good for curly hair is because of course your hair literally just slips, slides over it, no problem, no friction, not gonna cause any extra frizz like a regular pillowcase can. It's also incidentally really, really good for your skin. You will not wake up with a creased face if you're using a satin or a silk pillowcase. But what I also use um, most of the time is a buff. So this is a buff and it is also known as multifunctional headwear. You know, you see people, you can wear them like a little scarf. You see people wearing them as masks as well. And it works great for protecting my curls overnight because pull the tube of fabric up over my curls. So yes, especially in this blue one, I look exactly like Marge Simpson. And then you can just kind of tuck your curls down inside. If you want, you can tie a knot. And that is then, <laughs> that is then how I sleep. And yes, I'm aware it looks ridiculous, but um, it does the job. And you might be wondering, well, why do you need the satin or the silk pillowcase? Well, it actually helps the buff to stay on because Say you had a cotton pillowcase, there's quite a lot of friction between the pillowcase and the buff, whereas the satin side, it just slides on past. So it's not gonna drag the buff off my head. So I find that my buff stays on my head all night when I um, use it with a silk or a satin pillowcase. So those are my ride or die things for protecting my curls at night. So next I'm gonna talk about some tools that you might need to use during your wash day, during the styling process. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is my Perfect Hair Care towel. I do absolutely love this towel, the Perfect Hair Care. Um, it's just, it's unlike any other microfiber towel. It's microfiber, but it's a very, very smooth, shiny microfiber as you can see and I, I just love it. Also as you've probably seen in some of my other videos if you've watched them I find it doubles up great as like a little cape for protecting my clothes when I am brush styling or styling on soaking wet hair and you can use the toggle to just attach it on and it doesn't go anywhere and it does stop me getting quite so soaking wet so I can use it like a little cape but I also love to use it for micro plopping so before I'm about to diffuse my hair I will use it to just scrunch out a little bit of excess water from my hair. And um, when you're styling your hair, you might need to, you might want to section your hair to style it. So you're gonna need some kind of clips. So I have, there's two different types of clips I like to use. Um, an alligator clip like this, just like a basic hairdressing one. You can get these in most like supermarkets, drug stores, wherever, really, really cheap. And they work fine. Actually recently I've been preferring to section with like a claw clamp and <laughs> I have two very varying sizes, but I use both of them and they do the trick. And also they double up obviously as hair accessories too. So you can put your hair up and use one of these clips. So dual purpose. Then further on in your styling routine, you might want to comb or brush products through your hair. So you can use just a basic wide tooth comb. I think I got this one from eBay. I've had it forever, but it's still the best wide tooth comb that I own. Um, it's a really good one. And this is my new, beautiful new brush that I ordered from Amazon. And it, uh, the brand is So Soon, So Soon. And um, I ordered it because it pretty much looks like a dupe for the Behairful brush, um, but it was less than 10 pounds. It had really good reviews and it came the next day with Amazon Prime and I used it today and I did flip section method in my hair today. I used this brush and it worked amazing. It worked pretty much exactly like the Behairful brush works. So I'll pop a link in the description. I highly recommend this brush so far. 
absolutely love it. Dupe for the Beherful and only £10, I think like $15. We're gonna move on to after you've washed and styled your hair, um, the things that you need for like your day-to-day -day curls. So, hair accessories. Obviously, you know I love a good hair accessory. Recently, I've talked quite a lot about my banana clip and I um, a link to a recent video where I show two different ways to use this. I absolutely love it because it doesn't ruin the curls. You can use this, take it out, and your curls are still intact. And it's just a really nice, different way to put your curls up. I can't be without my little um, Invisibobbles. I usually use off-brand ones, like cheap ones from whatever drugstore I'm in. These things are great. Again, they don't leave kinks in your hair. I couldn't live without them. I've always got at least 10 of these on the go and I'm usually finding them in pockets and bags all over the place. It's also nice to have some pretty hair clips. So I've got a few various different ones here. Um, this one was from Frank and Fox and she actually has made these resin hair clips. These ones are from Only Curls and it's amazing what a difference just a nice hair clip can make, you know, to just elevate your look like that. Uh, just one hair clip and suddenly it looks like a fancy hairstyle. I also, as you know, really love a good hairband and I have so many headbands and hairbands and um, my dandy lame ones are definitely my current favourites. I really love the shape of them and I just feel like they fancy up any outfit so much. I just I love this tartan, it's absolutely gorgeous. Really, really love them. So a good selection of hair bands can really help you on days where your hair is just not behaving. And lastly, I just want to talk about if you live in a country where it gets cold in the winter, you're gonna want to wear a hat. But usually a woolly hat is gonna absolutely ruin your curls. So you really need a satin lined hat. This is my slouchy hat from Curly and Kind. And it's just a lovely kind of looser, slouchier one. I really, really like this. This is one of the ones that I keep by the door that I throw on most days, like for doing the school run at this time of year. And my other hat, which I'm completely in love with, is this beautiful hat from Stitches Be Slipping. And it's a handmade hat. And look at those gorgeous flowers. And of course, it's satin lined, it has a removable pom pom, and it's just so pretty. Let me show you. I adore it. How adorable. How adorable is that? So there are quite a lot of satin lined hats on the market now. This is just two brands. There's Only Curls have some gorgeous ones as well and quite a few others. Um, but if you can find yourself a satin lined hat, then you can have a warm head, but your curls won't be ruined. All they will need is a bit of a fluff and they'll be absolutely fine. What is your absolute ride or die can't live without curly hair accessory or tool? I really want to know, so please let me know in the comments and I will see you guys soon. Bye.